Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, let's create new solid layer. Right click, new and solid layer. Add name Elements 3D, click OK. And go to FX, Video Copilot, Element. So go to Scene Setup, Import, and choose here Silver Button 3D Model. And let's click Open. And don't change any settings, click OK. So, let's go to settings and click normalize size. Let's see. OK. Go to click this icon and enable show ambient occlusion. You can see realistic shot of here. Let's go to presets, environment, backlight environments, and backlight Tuka. Let's use this backlight. OK, so let's open inside, select this material one, let's see which material it is. OK, this main material, we can see diffuse here, and let's go to down and change closeness for more reflection. Let's zoom in here, and let's see reflection. OK, and environment lights, and specular. OK, that's good. And let's enable environment image. OK, so select this material too. Let's see. This is inside mirror reflection. Let's go to settings and choose lights like this. Environment lights. OK. And reflection. Let's change for see reflection here. OK, very nice. And let's back to material 1 and change this reflection, for example, 5. OK, I like it. So select this text and let's go to materials and physical. Let's use Chrome material for this text. Or let's try this. OK, let's click OK and create new camera tool. Right click new and camera. And let's press this, choose here 50 millimeters, click OK. And for control camera movements, we can use these three icons or click C in keyboard. Let's zoom to model. OK, let's select this element 3D, go to render settings and ambient. Let's enable ambient shadows and change this 10 or 5. OK, nice. And go to physical environment and enable showing background. So let's open rotate environment. We can change rotation for this environment. Let's choose background like this. And zoom to model. So let's back to scene setup and go to create. Let's create new plane and move to down and select scale tool. Change scale like this. Let's move to down like this. OK, that's good. And go to use Chrome material for this plane. And let's open inside, choose Chrome and change closeness like this. And for reflection, select this plane and go to reflect mod and choose mod here, mirror surface. And select this Chrome. Let's change glossiness. OK, nice. So let's click OK and press C. Change camera view like this. OK, let's create camera animation. Select this camera and right mouse. Go to camera and create orbit null. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click pen behind icon. Classation tool and create Y rotation keyframe. Let's change rotation like this. And go to 7 seconds. Press N for select work area. And change rotation like this. Let's see. OK, not bad. And in this time, let's change rotation more like this. And go to first second. Change rotation to left. OK, that's good. And select this null, let's hold shift press P and create new passing keyframe. Go to last keyframe and let's zoom to like this. 
and back to first keyframe. Okay, pretty good. So we can change background images. Let's select these elements already. Go to scene setup and open environment. Again, backlights. And for example, let's choose this backlight. Or let's try this or this. Also, we can use these studio lights. Okay, and let's try this. Okay, that's good. I like it. Let's click OK. And let's see. Nice. And select these elements already. Let's click. Let's turn off background image and create new background solid layer. Add the name background. Click OK. Move to behind of layers. Go to FS presets. Search effect gradient ramp and choose gradient ramp use for background and let's choose color black and this color change to like this and right the ramp swap colors and choose this point move to down like this also this point okay select this camera one let's open inside camera options and click this for turn on depot field and let's change aperture 100 and blur level 150 and change fox distance okay let's change quality full okay that's good so we have full black background and reflection here also we can add lights let me show how to add light here. Let's right click, let's right click new and light. And let's choose here spotlight, click OK and change this to back and up. Also target, let's move to down. Okay, let's see. Nice, not bad. And select this light. Let's Ctrl D for duplicate and hold Shift. Move to Z axis like this and change point like this. Select this light. Move to down target. Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.